there is something we need It's a leap of faith Oh, if you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there The walk starts in the charming village of Fairley, in a large free car park overlooking the bay. With its natural beauty nestling between the hills to the east and the Firth of Clyde to the west, it looks directly towards the Cumbres, two small islands just off the coast and with magnificent views of the Isle of Arran. As we leave the town behind and head up to the picturesque Fairley Glen, with its tumbling brooks and waterfall, it's not long before we reach Fairley Castle. It is believed that the now extinct family, the Fairley of that ilk, who originated from the Ross family in Tarbert, built the castle in 1521, the lands having been held in the family estate since the 14th century. The path that we walk on past the castle shows extensive remains of very old paving that suggests that it was once a main communication route and probably ran across Fairley Moor to Dalry. In 1719, the Ballad of Hardy Newt was published telling the tale of an elderly warrior and set at Fairley Castle. This poetic legend is said to have been discovered by Lady Wardlaw locked in a vault at Dunfermline and written on scrap paper. The story goes that the elderly warrior is called upon to support the Scottish King at what became known as the Battle of Largs. Despite his age, he gathers his sons and men and sets off to support his sovereign lord at Largs. But on the way he encounters a seemingly mortally wounded knight, who despite an offer of assistance asked to be left to die. On their victorious return from the battle, they find the castle silent and abandoned, and the implication is that the youngest son, daughter and possibly others have fallen prey to the treacherous wounded knight. Stately stepped he east the wa, and stately stepped he west, Full seventy years he now had seen, with scarce seven years of rest. He lived when Breton's breach of faith brought Scotland mickle way, and I his sword toiled to their cost, he was their deadly fay. High on a hill his castle stood, with has and towers and he height, and goodly chambers fair to see, when he lodged many a night. His dame say peerless ains and fair, for chast and beauty deemed, ne marrow had in all the land, save Eleanor the queen. Full thirteen sons to him she bear, all men of valour stout, in bloody fight his sword in hand, nine lost their lives but doubt. For yet remain, lang may they live, to stand by liege and land, I was their fame, High was their might, and high was their command. Great love they bear for fairly fair, their sister soft and dear. Her girdle showed her middle gimp, and gowd and glist her hair. But wayful way her beauty bred, with who to young and old, with who I throw to kith and kin, as story ever told. The King of Norse, in summer tide, puffed up with power and might, landed in fair Scotland the isle with many a hardy knight. The tidings to our good Scots king came as he sat and dined with noble chiefs in brave array, drinking the blood red wine. To horse to horse, my royal liege, your fays stand on the strand, 
Fill 20,000 glittering spears the King of Norse commands. Bring me my steed, Mag Dapple Grey, our good King rose and cried. A trustier beast in all the land, a Scots King never tire eyed. Go, little page, tell Hardy Newt, that lives on hills say high, to draw his sword to dread of fays, and haste and follow me. The little page flew swift as dart, flung his master's arm. Come down, come down, Lord Hardy Newt, and rid your king free harm. Then red